What's up, Coach? How you feeling? Yeah, great. I mean, um, this win belongs to so many players and assistant coaches throughout many, many years. It belongs to the athletic directors that built facilities for us that enabled our program to be sustained and to do well. Um, but most of all, like I said in the beginning, it belongs to the players, you know, and our fans. I mean, you know, the fan base here in Columbia and in the state and at the, from the university has been outstanding through the years. So, you know, it's sort of a community uh, owned uh, uh, milestone. And uh, I'm really excited. Um, you know, one thing I want to say, you know, the, the head coach for Furman is Doug Allison, who is one of our all time greats here at the University of South Carolina. His assistant, Charlie Art, another one national goalkeeper of the year when he played for South Carolina. Doug wasn't able to be here tonight for a, a family uh, situation in, in, back home in England. And, you know, and our thoughts and prayers go out to Doug. Um, but this was a lot of Doug. You know, it, it wasn't the side he wanted to be on tonight as the head coach of Furman. But on the other hand, I know how he feels. And we're, we're very, uh, our hearts go out to Doug and his family. And uh, we wish them the best as well. Did you know 41 years ago today was the first game and first win in, in the program? Yeah, that's what someone said. Yeah, I can assure you I did not know that. <laughs> yeah. What does that kind of mean to you that 41 years after win number one, you get 500? Yeah, I mean, again, I think it just means we've had great support here at the university through the years. We've had a wonderful group of players through the years um, and great support in the community. And it's great to, you know, you don't, you don't accomplish that by thinking about the future. You think of it one game at a time, one step at a time. And um, my hat's off to our players tonight because they played really, really well. Speaking of one of the players that played really well, Tucker gets a brace tonight. What did you see out of him? Yeah, I thought he was, uh, you know, really on top of his game. He's had a great start to the season. His work ethic is, is outstanding, and it always has been outstanding. His chances come from effort. He also is putting his shots on target, you know, and, and creating – multiple chances even when he doesn't score he's creating opportunities for us so um, i think he's done really really well you know uh andrew halloran created the the um foul with uh, great effort on the end line there that, that produced the penalty you know so um i thought our guys played with a lot of heart and a lot of determination tonight and i was really proud of what they did it was the first time he didn't score an overtime winner did that feel a little weird not yeah afterwards? yeah i thought the game was short I was wondering uh, what's going on. Um, no, I mean, it was great to get that done. And when we put three up, I was thinking, boy, if this goes to overtime, I'm really not going to be happy. So uh, it was good to get a shutout. Um, I thought our back line played well. I thought Benny played well. Um, you know, overall, just a, a really good, solid performance. Coach, last home game in September. You went undefeated in September at home wearing teal. Yeah. How special was this month? And obviously we still get to do that this weekend wearing teal, but at home seeing all the teal all month long in the students, yeah. how special was that? Uh, thank you. I mean, uh, I, I, I can't thank the Columbia community, um, the uh, Midlands uh, Ovarian Cancer Coalition, you know, and, and everyone that's come out to support our drive to bring awareness to ovarian cancer. Um, for everyone to be checked and to bring attention to it. So um, I'm really thrilled with the community support and uh, it was just really gratifying to see uh, Joe Eau Claire from Promotions had the teal thunder sticks out there and we had fans in the stands. We had people asking us, could they buy these shirts? I mean, it was just really wonderful. And uh, I want to thank everyone for, and our players especially, for buying in and supporting this during the month. Another player that played well oh, tonight was Luca Meyer coming back from yeah. injury. How big was he tonight? Uh, it's great to have Luca back. It's great to have Kyle back. You know, they're able to get some minutes. Um, Logan Hitzman, on the other hand, was out with a hamstring. So, you know, we've got, we've got guys coming in, we've got guys coming out, and players have to step up and meet the challenge. So it was great to see Luca. It's been a long, hard road for him back from surgery. Great to see him on the field tonight. Great to see Kyle on the field tonight as well. Speaking of challenges, you've got UCF and Charlotte, two top 15 teams coming up next. What do you need to do to get wins 501 and 502? Yeah, good question. I mean, we need to continue playing the way we played tonight. 
We need to capitalize on our chances. We need to minimize the mistakes that we make in the back and, and, and try to cut down on the, the, the chances that the opponent gets. And uh, those are tough games. They're on the road, tough nationally ranked teams. But, you know, we've, we've played some tough games this year. This group is growing game by game. They're growing game by game. We'll be a different team in October than we have been in September. And uh, this team's moving in the right direction.